Greetings, DMs, jams, and players. This is the Insomniac GM, and today I bring you a video on Zorvintal Dragons. Um, to tell you the truth, the, what inspired me to make this whole YouTube channel was this one monster alone. Um, I felt like they were very underutilized. Um, it seems like nobody talks about them in that. And I would like to see them appear in more editions. Um, so let's begin. Um, they are found in Monster Manual 5 of 3.5 edition. Um, <laughs> luckily I got my hands on this copy. Uh, they can be an arm and a leg. <laughs> now, they are found on page 38 through 47. Let me and give you guys the view of two of the dragons. Now, um, Zorvintal dragons. With them, a um, young dragon, young adult dragon or older, will research the great game. And when a dragon researches the great game, they learn the rules of a game where the world is essentially a chessboard and the players, the NPCs, the kingdoms, all of that is its chess pieces on this board. And these dragons will take their hordes of treasure and pretty much wager them with one another. Uh, it, once they end up doing the research for becoming one of these dragons, they enter a cocoon for one month. And once they come out of that cocoon, they lose all spellcasting ability. Like, they can never cast magic again, um, not even cantrips. But in return, they gain telepathy, telepathy that, that they can speak telepathically up to 100 miles away to another dragon playing the great game. Um, they also, their strategies to win the game is completely immune to divination. You cannot use divination to figure out what their move is, um, where their treasure is, none of that. Um, they do gain spell spell-like abilities where they can cast Charm Monster um, at will, kind of like a cantrip, and three times a day they can use Scrying, also like a spell-like ability. Uh, they can also enter an hour-long ritual to recruit essentially a lackey, which I'll get into what happens once they recruit somebody in. Um... Once a dragon leaves this cocoon, they also gain one ability plus an extra ability for every two age categories above young adult. Um, some examples of these abilities is they can enter a rage similar to like a barbarian. They develop toxic claws and spikes. They um, have rejuvenation. So once they die, they can bring, be brought back to life after, I think it was 24 hours. And there's eight more abilities you can choose from from the list. Um, now their henchmen they create, when they create them, they can give them um, five favor tokens. And these tokens can be used to um, resist, have energy immunity, so immune to the ability of whatever that breath weapon the uh, dragon uh, breathes. So a red dragon, they'd be immune to fire if they spend a focus token, kind of, or a favor token, kind of like um, hero points or inspiration points from 5e and Pathfinder. They can also spend one to do frightful presence like a dragon. They can also link arm, link hands and spend one to get dragon wings. They give them a fly speed. Um, 
Draconic Revere. They can also spend one to get a bonus to a save. Lair's Return and Lair's Rebirth, which I believe Lair's Rebirth was if they spend them all, they can come back to life in the Dragon's Lair. Now, with these dragons, I think it would be great to do a cityscape game where you have two dragons hiding in the city. Um, you could have it where the players join one of the sides or they're getting mixed up in this game between the two different sides. The, I feel with these dragons, there's a lot of potential with them story-wise. Players can actually get these abilities to be um, their henchmen in that. Um, as for using them in 5e, I've, with 5e, dragons don't naturally cast spells. So I would probably give the dragons spells normally just to cause that extra little flavor. If not, I would pretty much just keep the dragons the way they are in 5e, but just give them two abilities. I mean, there's not as much age categories for other dragons, so I would just give them the Barbarian Rage and they have like a Roar ability. I'd probably tie that on, but I'd give them two for each age category. I plan on eventually running these in my campaign personally. In fact, um, I pitched it to my brother and right away demanded that one of our, our good friends ends up playing that. Uh, he's probably watching this, but he'll know because it involves a character by the name of Blaze. Uh, so what kind of campaigns in the comments would you guys post in the comments? What kind of campaigns you guys would run with these dragons? And take care.